In a meeting this week, one of my collaborators asked, what are the most essential apps for starting a Shopify store? What's the baseline? What's the necessity? This is a really important question. People are gonna to wanna to refine on the answer throughout their e-commerce careers. So I thought I'd make a tutorial and try and shed some light on my particular answer. Always gonna be iterating on this, always gonna be hustling, and I'm sure I'll make many more of these videos. That being said, Get ready for three haircuts in one video. Let's go. One issue you're gonna face when you're starting a complete baseline store where you've got no customers, nobody's ever bought anything off you is trust. People are gonna be coming to your store, gonna be seeing a bunch of nice products. It's gonna be well laid out. You know, you're gonna be doing your best. You've made a nice Facebook ad. Everything looks great. But they get there and they're like, has anyone else bought any of this? This is just like a random store. Why wouldn't I just go to the stores that I know online? So if it's credibility you're after, looks is here to help. We're not affiliated with looks at all. Kind of wish we were. Be my wingman anytime but they're a great app. So I just wanted to showcase this in case you hadn't heard of them and we can go through what they do. Looks is gonna help your customers feel comfortable about making a purchase on your store because of the social proof. All it's really doing is importing reviews from AliExpress. Importing reviews from AliExpress is product feedback, but not brand feedback. So it's gonna give your store a little bit of help while you prepare your brand feedback. And Looks is gonna help with this as well because its other primary function is it sends out review requests to your customers and they can get rewarded if they send you a review with a photo or just a little message. Very simple concept. You ask your customer to take a photo of the product that they bought, you give them a 20% discount to come back, they give you the social proof and they probably will give you another purchase as well because you've given them a discount. Then you've got heaps of social proof that's gonna be able to be dotted around your product pages and say, I tried on your hat, man, so nice. Or they'll be like, great product, yeah. Actually, it won't be like that because it'll be an image, not a video, but you get the idea. So one thing you can do with these reviews is you can use them again on your Facebook ads and it's all packaged for you, made nice and easy. Customer reviews like this are a huge reason that people are actually gonna buy from you. It makes complete sense. Like imagine you walk into a clothing store on a high street somewhere in the world. If it's empty and you've got like this kind of clerk at the back who's like, can I help you? Yeah. You're kind of like, oh yeah, I'm, like, I'm just looking around, thanks. Uh, and you kind of have a snoop around, you're kind of like, yeah, no one else is buying these t-shirts. I think I'll just leave. Or you go into a shop and it's just like absolutely packed. You can't even get to the clerk because she's like five people deep buying t-shirts. You find a t-shirt and you have to wait in line before you can even make a purchase. It's probably a little bit more incentivized to actually get that t-shirt in the first place. And this online is how you're gonna build a brand. Lots of these reviews, lots of these social proofs are gonna help you move from just a simple Shopify store to an actual recognized brand. And that's just gonna help with conversions all up. So Looks is gonna make this very easy for you with its email automation sequences. And I think in this video, what we should do is go through and write one. Every customer is an asset. And if you're a beginner, this is really important. Imagine you've had five sales this month. That's five people who've already interacted with your brand. As little a number as that is, it's still five people. And if you send out an email automation sequence from Looks, probably one of those people is gonna come back with a photo review for you. So you're gonna wanna go on Shopify and add Looks. You're gonna get a free 14 day trial and after that it's $10 a month. I think that's great for a beginner because you're gonna get 100 email requests a month and that's, that's plenty to get you started. Getting the reviews, ratings and pop-up widgets. You're gonna get inline SEO and it's gonna offer discounts for photo reviews. So you found a product on AliExpress, you're gonna to want to import only the reviews that are four stars and up. I mean, that's kind of intuitive, but just wanted to let you know. And then in these email automations, you wanna offer about 15 to 20% on discounts. You don't really wanna to offer too much of a discount. It actually comes across counterproductive to the customer. Like someone's hitting you up with a 50% coupon. That's just kind of mad. You're like, is that real? Everyone else is offering 
So don't give away too much for free. So make these discounts in Shopify and then validate it in the Looks app and then limit it to just one coupon per customer or one discount per customer. I think like 33,000 people are using Looks. Let's just double check on Commerce Inspector to see how many people are using this app. I always do this just to double check. I'm not getting into a scam. If you're on the Shopify app store, you're like, wow, this is amazing. This app is so cool. You are actually just buying into their funnel. So it's always good to just double check these apps from a YouTuber like me. I mean, I'm incentivized to give you guys good apps. Otherwise, all the comments are gonna be negative. People are like, this is a scam. You're gonna get heaps of dislikes and the algorithm's gonna bump me down. So I'm incentivized to give good recommendations. Another way to look at it is go to Commerce Inspector and just type it in top go sites change this to apps and then just put in looks okay so we just put it into commerce inspector it's got 148,000 installs which is just giving it even more cred and 607 percent of people stay after the two-week trial period it's crazy because on the shopify store it's only got 5,758 reviews so you kind of think yeah it's doing pretty well and then boom, actually 148K. We've done a few videos on Commerce Inspector, great app. You can go in here, have a look at all the best stores using looks, and then you can learn from how they're using it. I mean, I just wrote this out. It's not gonna reflect your personal brand voice, but it's an example. We love supporting our customers and providing the best experience possible. To achieve this, we would love your feedback on your order with us today. Review us and get a 15% discount code off your entire next order using Review15. Thanks, Debutify. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little bit corporate, so you could try a different style as well. One method I've discovered for finding really great examples for these hooks is going into your spam and having a look at what calls out to you. Or if you're on Gmail, you can use promotions because the spam folder is actually just, just don't go there. That stuff is whack. So I jumped onto my promotions and the one that stood out to me was from Later, which is an app that helps you grow your Instagram following. So what really stood out to me from this email was the subject line. How to use content pillars to grow your following. What they're doing here is they are helping the customer. Even if I don't subscribe to Later, even if I don't upgrade my position with Later, I'm still gonna learn something from this email and that is helpful. That is such a good hook that you need to learn in marketing. You can spam people with discounts. You can blast your product all over their inbox, but nothing is gonna bring people back more than actual concrete advice. I just read the article, learned a little bit about content pillars, and I was like, thanks, I'm out. Done. But I'm the one in five. If you've had five orders this month, one person might buy your product from your email remarketing in looks. So give it a go. I mean, there's actually so much in here. They give you the first article and they go into how to create a stunning feed. And then they've got two more and then they plug looks right at the bottom. That's genius. When you're setting up these photo reviews, I'd probably recommend about five to seven on your product page. You don't want to be too cluttered and you want to provide a solid base for people to read through. People are going to read a couple, maybe one or two, and they're going to be like, convinced, I'm getting one. Right here, right now. Also with the stars, you want to change the hex key to 4Fs00, which is pure yellow. People love pure yellow. It's the same color as the sun. So a hex triplet is just a six digit, three byte hexadecimal number used in CSS and other computing programs to represent color. When you're building your product pages, you want everything to be congruent. So you want to match these colors to your theme or match these colors to something objectively pleasant like pure yellow. So let's look at an example of somebody using looks reviews. This is onecompress.com. One thing I like about them is they have the product and they immediately have a big review. If you're lucky enough to have a customer who's written a nice, decent paragraph, you can put it front and center on your page like these guys have. You go through their little funnel and then usually at the very bottom, people have got it set up. So they've gone with black, black and white to represent their theme. Now this product seems to be really fulfilling and neat and is useful for people. One thing you can do in these emails is ask your customers to include themselves in it. If you're really gonna get analytical about it, these might be the same hands on different tables and it might just be coming from the vendor themselves, the dropshipper themselves. But when you've got a few different faces in there, you're really getting behind that FOMO. You're like, oh my God, everybody has these gloves, I need them. And what does that lead to? Conversions. 
So you can integrate looks with your theme and even with other apps like Aftership and Smile.io. Anyway, let's jump onto Alley and have a look at a little workflow for getting these reviews. So once you've found your product, just drag this into your bookmarks bar and you're gonna get this little import to looks button. And then once you're on here, have a look and check that you like these customer reviews. You're like, everyone's into this. It's not a scam, let's do it. Just hit the import to looks button. And then you can go four stars and up and you might want just the reviews that are in English. So you could try the UK or the United States. It's actually gonna translate it to English as well, but this might not work all the time. I'd probably experiment with that and see how it fares with each individual product. And you wanna import it to one of your products. So you wanna set up this product on your Shopify store. I'm just using a demo store right now from Debutify, so we'll just pick the Chaos Wen. And then it's gonna show you what you like. These aren't the best, these don't have people in them, but it's definitely showing the product. And you can just go through and import all these. You're like, ah, oh, this one doesn't look too good. I might reject it. This one, I mean, that one's just like terrible. No photo, don't want it. This lamp looks awesome. Very pretty in the end, we bought three. That's kind of cool, all okay. And then you wanna go back to looks and these will be inside of looks. And you can add them to this product or to any other product that you like. You can put in all of your emails here, which we did earlier, and you can change the email appearance, your discounts, and you can send out further emails for future just to remind people. And yeah, that's pretty much looks. All right, hold up. I was just watching this video over and I thought, oh, we should make a little bonus section here because looks is great and we need to build trust with our Shopify store. But how are you gonna build trust and how are you gonna build a store if you don't even have the simple foundations? And I was like, I need to talk about Oberlo in this video. So here's a little bonus section for you and we're gonna talk about Oberlo. So what is Oberlo? All right, Oberlo is just order fulfillment. It's essentially DSs, which is from AliExpress, but Oberlo is made by Shopify, which means it's certified credibility. You just need to add a payment method and shipping method and make sure that everything lines up for how you want it. And you're gonna be able to order fulfill from your customer to AliExpress really easily. So when you're in Oberlo here, you essentially just browse through AliExpress um, but they've just sort of jazzed it up for you and you can just get whatever you want and then you attach it to your store. And of course you wanna keep things congruent and professional. The main advice here for Oberlo is when you go through and you find those rinsed, like, you know, illegible spelling mistakes um, on AliExpress that don't really make any sense because they're just keywords to help people find the products. You don't have to do that because you will have done your Facebook ads, you would have done a big marketing campaign. People would have found your product page and you can just keep everything nice and simple and professional and they'll convert through by making a purchase. So if I wanted to find something, and I'll give you a little sneak peek, next week I'll be making a video on how to make video ads and I want to have a kettle. So you want to be changing it to where you will be selling to because that's obviously gonna influence the shipping times, the price and the availability of products. What I really wanna do though is actually have an LED kettle. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy one, but just for you know argument's sake, let's have a look at something like this, 26 bucks, not bad. And then you can just add it to your import list. And you can see that it's all very similar to the AliExpress page, but you actually don't have to use the ads and all of the kind of like stimulating crap that they have, like the coupons. But Oberlo is really simple and intuitive, and I want you guys to test it out for yourself. I don't have an affiliate link for you, but just go onto the Shopify app store, type in Oberlo, and you'll find it pretty quickly. And then you just wanna get a product, change the names, change the descriptions, make sure that the shipping times and the shipping locations all line up, and then import it to your Shopify store and get going. Very easy to start selling. Once it's in your import list, that's where you can change things. Get rid of all of these like nonsense names and make up some sort of creative name, you know, like Tesla Kettle. Or, you know, if somebody in the USA called it something different, you know, uh, you know, the flashlight torch debate goes on for centuries. You could just call it Tesla Boiler or Tesla Boil. You know, just have a little brainstorm here and make a new name up. Add it to your collections. If you have any tags that you want to use on Shopify, you can use tags to connect all the different products and then you can line them up with add-ons. You can go through and make sure that the description doesn't just look like this, which is absolute trash. And then you want to skim on the variants. When I made my fair head shower page, I let it go live with all of this stuff. 
And uh, yeah, I didn't get any conversions because I was like giving the customer way too many options. You essentially just wanna have the simple variants. If there's any actual simple distinctions between the variants, like right now, there is actually no distinctions between the variants because there is no variance. It's just variance in terms of where it's coming from. The only distinction here is black and white. I mean, so you could just have those two options, but all of this extra stuff like ships from is just very distracting. I would probably even get rid of plug type and just target it to different people and have the more simple, the more easy to navigate store possible. I mean, you definitely don't want product inventory ID on there. That's just gonna be kind of useless. And then right here inside of Oberlo, you can of course change the photo. I'm gonna buy one of these kettles, make a product video with it and do some professional photography with my, you know, simple phone. And that way my store will stand out from a lot of the other ones because photos like this are obviously from AliExpress. So I wanna have my own creatives. But this is where you could just go in and you could delete a few and upload a few if you wanted to. And then you just want to import it to your store. Start selling, start making that bank. Build trust with looks reviews, build a kick-ass inventory with Oberlo and you'll be set to go. All right, I just wanted to include that there. Uh, let's get back to me saying goodbye to you. So there you have it. That was looks and a whole bunch of ideas around social proof. And we always reply to each and every comment. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. If this was useful, if you found it funny, if you found it engaging, hit the subscribe button, uh, smash that like button, and you know we'll be making more videos in the future and hopefully they can make you laugh and provide some info for you as well. Anyway, best of luck in e-commerce, in dropshipping, have a good day.